Hi everyone, I am Rahul. So here I will be discussing with you some of the maths and science problems for class 10 students. So let us begin with a tricky question which has been most popular in the internet. So that is to find the length of AB. They have given a rectangle and there are three circles in it. So they have given the diameter of all those three circles. So if I want to find the length of a, B. How can you solve that? So let's see. Here, the diameter of this circle is 3 cm, 4 cm and 6 cm. So if I want to find this length, I can solve using one of the methods. So for that, let the diameter, since they have given it as 6 cm, so obviously the radius will be 3 cm. So this will be 3 and the other part will be 3. Similarly, this will be 2 and the radius will be 2. Here it will be 1.5 and 1.5. So, after this, when I join the so this is radius at this point it will be a tangent so the, the tangent will obviously be 90 degrees and this is also the point of tangent for this circle so if I draw the radius so the complete length this will be 2 and this will be 3 the complete length will be 5 cm so I can take this as M, this one as M. So M N is equal to 5 cm. So after this, if I want to draw a right angle triangle, this will be 2 cm. So since this is also parallel to this, since it is 2 cm, this will also be 2 cm. The entire length is 3 cm. Out of 3, if this is 2 cm, then the remaining will be 1 cm. So this is 5 and this is 1. So let me take this as uh, P. So MP is 1 cm so this will be 90 degree so using Pythagoras theorem that is mn square is equal to mp square plus pn square so we know that mn that is 5 square mp 1 square plus pn square so Pn square will be 25 minus 1 which is nothing but 24. Pn is equal to square root of 24 which is nothing but I can write it as 2 root 6. So you got to know the value of Pn. So this is part of AB. So I need to find the remaining distance. For that, we can use the other two circles in a similar way. When I join the radius of these two circles, at this point, it's a tangent. So it will form a tangent. So, when I draw this radius, so this is the point of tangent. Similarly, for this circle, here it's a point of tangent. This radius of the one circle and this is the radius of another circle. So this is 1.5, this is 2. I can take this as Q. So NQ is 3.5 cm. This is 2 and this is 1.5. So totally it is 3.5 cm. So since I need to find this or else I can take the upper triangle whichever is convenient. So let me take the upper triangle. So do I know 
lowest value, I need to find this. So let me take this as R. How can I find the value of NR? The complete length, I have given this diameter to be 6 cm. Obviously, this will be 6 cm. If I take the entire length, this as S and this as T. So, ST is equal to 6 cm because the diameter of the bigger circle is 6 cm. So, the entire length is 6 cm. So, out of those 6 cm, there are so many parts. This is one part, this is one part, this is one part. I already know what is the value of NT. NT is 2 cm because this is the radius of one circle. So, NT is equal to 2 cm. Similarly, I need to find Rn. For that, I know what is the value of SR because similar to this, this is also parallel. So, since it is 1.5, this will also be 1.5 cm. So, SR is equal to 1.5 cm. So, I know ST is made up of three segments. One is NT, RN and SR. So, ST is equal to TN plus NR plus SR. So, ST is equal to 6, TN is equal to 2. I need to find what is the value of NR. So, SR is 1.5. Solving this, I get NR is equal to 6, 2 plus 1.5, 3.5. So, 6 minus 3.5 is 2.5 cm. So, NR is 2.5 cm. I know what is NQ. So, using Pythagoras theorem, for this triangle, this is 90 degree, and triangle QRN, triangle QRN, QN square, QN square is equal to NR square plus QR square. NR square plus QR square. So QN square. What is QN? It is nothing but 3.5. 3.5 square is equal to NR. NR is 2.5 centimeter. 2.5 square plus QR square. So by solving this, so QR square is equal to I am taking 2.5 square to LHS. So that will be 3.5 square. 3.5 square, the value of 3.5 square is 12.25. So the value of 2.5 square is 6.25 minus 6.25. So QR square is 6. So the value of QR is equal to square root of 6. You know the value of PN. You know the value of QR. So, QR is this, PN is this. So, if you want to find the value of A, B, you need to add QR and PN. So, A, B is equal to QR plus P N Q R is two root six P N is two root six so by adding you get three root six so hence the value of A B is three root six centimeter so you got to know how to find the value of A B so for more such videos, please like and subscribe to our channels. So I will be solving more such problems. Thank you. Have a good day.